This PC build series is brought to you by Antec, Apotop, and Patriot Memory. Hi everybody, it's Brian for GadgetUnit.com and it's time for a bonus episode of my $500 triple boot PC build series. In this video I'll be adding a DVD drive, a Bluetooth adapter, as well as a Wi-Fi card to the PC. So the DVD burner is from LightOn, it's just a basic DVD burner, 20 bucks on Amazon. For Bluetooth I added this $6 or so USB 2 adapter. And for Wi-Fi we're using this TP-Link AC1750 PCI Express Wi-Fi card. All three of these components are perfectly compatible with Windows 10, Ubuntu, as well as Mac OS X Yosemite. First we have to install the parts, so of course we have to take the side panel off, take the front 5 and a quarter inch drive cover off of the front of the case, slide in the optical drive, screw everything into place, plug in the SATA power cable, and plug in the SATA data cable. Now I did have to buy an extra cable which came from Monoprice on Amazon, and that's pretty much it for the optical drive. For Bluetooth, it's just a basic USB device, so you can just plug it into any available USB port on the back of the computer. The Wi-Fi card is also very simple. We just have to take out the drive cage protector from the back of the case, push the Wi-Fi card into the available PCI Express 1X slot, screw it into place to make sure that it stays put, plug in the three antennas into the back, and you are finished. For all three operating systems, the optical drive and the Bluetooth adapter worked out of the box without any configuration. For the Wi-Fi card in Windows, we did have to use the CD that came with the Wi-Fi card to install the drivers. As soon as those were installed, the Wi-Fi card was detected within Windows and it worked perfectly. I even had the full 1.3 gigabit per second connection to my ASUS RT-AC68U router. For the Linux side of things, Linux automatically detected the Wi-Fi card and would request to install additional drivers. Of course, I was hardwired through Ethernet to my router, so it did have internet access to go ahead and do that. OS X was actually the best when it came to the Wi-Fi card. It didn't have to install any additional drivers. Everything just worked out of the box as an airport device. And like Windows and Linux, it too had a full 1.3 gigabit per second connection to my router. So to conclude, all three of these pieces work just fine with this computer across all three operating systems. I couldn't be any happier with this build. And I think that about concludes it this time. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.